Good morning, everyone. So I am Rajiv Jha, and I am uh, part of healthcare IT team uh, in Fujifilm India. And uh, today we have a topic of AI, future of radiology in AI. And I think we I've been given 15 minutes. So 15 minutes is also a very short time. But we'll try to cover some slides specific to Fujifilm, what we are and we are what we are doing in AI. And then I think we are fortunate to have some uh, eminent radiologists and who have been working extensively with AI, uh, Dr. Vidur, Dr. Avinash. So I think we'll try to keep uh, some more time for interactive you know, session and take their inputs as how it is helping radiologists and what are the challenges. So with that, I'm just going to start. So uh, uh, with, with Fujifilm, uh, we started our operations in 1936 with X-ray Fujifilm, uh, X-ray films. And since then, we have been evolving with uh, various products. So as far as healthcare IT is concerned, in 99 we had our first Synapse Packs. Synapse is the name of our healthcare IT uh, product portfolio. And uh, that was the first web-based pack, which was launched way back in 99. Since then, we have been working on the same product and we have been doing incremental builds. In 2016, we uh, developed uh, you know, the first server-based, server rendering packs, which was again first in the industry. And it was HTML5 based. So since then, 2016, uh, we have been uh, working with Generation 5, Synapse 5. Now there are some reasons, you know, uh, why we are the preferred healthcare uh, vendor. So uh, in Kelas rating, uh, we are the number four in globally. Then uh, in our case, there is no software obsolete. Then uh, we have a flexible decentralized and centralized architecture. And as I said, we have a first server side rendering technology packs in the industry. And it's the same product, so incremental builds. We have not changed the initial build. We have been just doing incremental builds on top of that. As far as certificates are concerned, we are FDA certified. We have uh, CE certification. We have also DICAP certification from Department of Defense US. And we are also IIT compliant and HIPAA compliant as well. This is our product portfolio for uh, healthcare IT. So uh, as you can see in the foundation, the uh, uh, Below most we have this Synapse VNA, which is our DICOM as well as non-DICOM archival solution. On the top of it we have Synapse Packs. And then we have RIS. RIS is basically radiology information system for the workflow uh, customization and workflow, radiologist workflow. Then we have the Synapse 3D, which is your post-processing advanced visualization tool. And at the top we have Synapse Mobility, which is our enterprise viewer for uh, you know, viewing DICOM as well as non-DICOM images. So with that, now we jump to the AI, the topic what we have. Okay, uh, this is an IB what we have uh, right now. So we have around 5,200 sites. Majority of them are there in Europe, US and Japan. In India, we are just 50 plus and growing. Now uh, we are working with uh, Synapse 7, which is going to be seven generation packs. So in that, what we are trying to do is, we are trying to bring radiology, AI and enterprise imaging together. Okay, so uh, that results in you know complete diagnostic tools for radiology. It also, as I said, server side rendering is there, and uh, there are AI imaging and workflows can be integrated seamlessly into the packs and the RIS. And then there is the MDS. MDS is basically multiple data source. So you have multiple locations. You can bring all the location together, and also we have a non-DICOM visualization there. So if I go by the, uh, you know, if I go by the stacking, so I can see at the down below we have the VNA, which is our enterprise uh, archival solution. On the top of it, we have the, our applications, which is your address, packs, and this Rely is our AI platform. So Fujifilm AI platform is Rely. You know, uh, we do a lot of, we are doing a lot of research in the AI, which I'm just going to show you in the next couple of slides. So Rely is our platform, and we have been, you know, continuously working on the developing AI you know, customizable AI platform, which can be truly integrated with our products. So at the top, if you can see, down below you have a VNA, then at the top you have a PAX and RISC, then it's integrated with Rely AI platform. And uh, as a radiologist, what you get is the diagnostic radiology, mammography, cardiology, and patient AI centric. So all these are the solutions which are there at the bottom and truly integrated. So this is just an overview of our, um, the, the, you know, the radiologists when they open our packs. So as you can see, there is a, you know, you don't need to go to a different screen to uh, access the AI part, right? So AI can be right here on the same screen. You can get the AI score and the AI algorithm what you're using. For example, here we have used this Lunit. 
So Leonid is the name of the AI and then you get a pneumothorax 46%. So in, within the same screen for a radiologist, it's a seamless integration with the AI. Now uh, this is the platform. So if you see this Synapse AI platform rests in between. Down below you have all the Synapse. Synapse is our solution. Then also you can have a third party application and the RIS and the reports, whatever you want to integrate. And middleware, you have this DICOM and non-DICOM. So this is the middle layer, what we are developing and what, what we have developed actually. It's available in the global market. So Synapse AI platform, and on the top, you can plug in multiple al algorithms. So these all algorithms can be readily pluggable here. So you don't need a separate desktop or separate uh, programming to directly plug these with your facts. This middleware takes care of all those. Of course, there are some clinical benefits. So, uh, you know, it's uh, integrated into existing workflow. You do not need to have a separate workflow. Then it also supports pre-read notifications and post-read overview. And uh, it also allows radiology to easily toggle findings on and off. You can just turn it on and it will give you a new screen showing the findings. And multiple algorithms can be integrated. Also, it is customizable workflows. From IT point of view, also there are some benefits. It supports DICOM secondary capture, DICOM grayscale presentation state, DICOM segmentation, and of course, you know, API and HL7. And uh, as I said, it is uh, able to support multiple AI vendors in, within single platform. And also from IT point of view, you have a single location to configure data routing. No additional desktop deployments. Now this is a typical workflow. So from modality, you know it goes into Synapse Packs, which is our packs. From there, you know it goes to the AI platform. And a copy goes to the AI engine. Now this AI engine can be on premise as well as cloud. It depends on the user, right? And then from there it again comes to the middleware, what we have. And from middleware, they, uh, the Synapse packs and the middleware, from the Synapse middleware, they communicate in between. And the results then are presented to the radiologist or the packs viewer. So this is how the integration works. Uh, this is our dashboard. So we have a, you know, uh, it's not only uh, configurable and customizable, but it gives you various uh, parameters on which you can just decide that, you know, it will just give you the per algorithm, the global view. Uh, algorithm counts, how many algorithms were positive, <laughs> negative, and it also gives exportable reports and a scan status as well. So how many are queued, how many are completed. This is a, just an overview of the work list. So if you see, here is the AI algorithm. So this is the synapse. So before, these things were already there. These all are customizable, these uh, columns and rows. And here it is the yeah, name of the algorithm, and then there is a status, and then there is an AI status. Now when I put my mouse here, it just takes another screen. So here it, it gives you the name of the AI, and then the score. What is the score? Further, if I click here, so it will take me to another screen, where again you can just launch an AI snapshot from WL work list, and AI bookmarks, and it can also, with hover, it, it can give you the findings. Like for example, here it is giving pleural effusion. So with that, that was the Synapse thing. Now there are some recommended algorithm what we have been uh, able to work with. So I'm just going to give you an overview of that. So these are the algorithms with whom we have worked till now. Some of them are FDA approved, and some of them are non-FDA. So in our next uh, few slides, I will just give you a brief of few products what we have been able to use in the Western market, the US in particular. So like MaxQ, it is used for your CT ICH. It is FDA approved. Integration has been validated. It's uh, in production stage. Riverin is again for CT lung nodules and uh, vessel suppression system. Uh, vessel suppression, yeah. It's also FDA approved and integration has been validated. ICAD is for 2D and 3D MAMO. It's again FDA is uh, valid, FDA approved and integration has been validated. So integration validated means we are in production. We are in production with at some sites, not in India but yeah globally. Screen point is again for 2D and 3D MAMO. It's uh, also FDA approved and integration has been validated. Leonid uh, we are using here in some cases in India also. So it's for chest X-ray 12 diseases 
and it's for 2D memo as well. FDA is in progress. Then we have Glimmer. Glimmer is for uh, fraction detection on extremities and long bones, but it excludes skull, spine, or pediatrics. It also supports segmentation overlay. It's a FDA approved. Pure is FDA approved for QR ICH product. Still, it doesn't have FDA for CXR, the XR, uh, X-ray part. It's in process and the integration has been validated. We are uh, live with this uh, cure at a couple of sites. With that, that was the slides. I think uh, we can have some sort of discussion and inputs from our radiologists. Thanks. Uh, thank you, Rajiv. Uh, whenever I see uh, AI companies talking, like reinforcing uh, the uh, hundred years before your product really matures. So I have flirted with a lot of AI companies and we are currently also engaged with Fuji in our hospital in KIMS. Uh, we are experimenting since October. Uh, it's a great tool. It's a, I would say, an operational uh, efficiency improvement tool. It helps me decide what are normal and what are abnormal. It stacks my work very easily. So if I come in the morning and I see there are 100 x-rays to report, the 50 normal ones go straight away to my junior associate and it gets done. So it's an excellent tool. Uh, whether it will replace me, uh, I don't think so. Uh, whether it will replace a uh, uh, lot of other factors like intracranial bleed, the Mass General Hospital is using it. I'm sure we will touch upon a few uh, things in the slide as well as when we talk further. But uh, a message here is to the community in pathology and laboratory medicine is how do we really integrate this AI uh, with radiology and pathology, especially when you're looking at breast cancers, uh, especially when you're looking at uh, you know holes like imaging and trying to evaluate those algorithms. It's not that AI is not happening in lab medicine. Maybe it's not happening in clinical chemistry or hematology, but I'm sure it's happening in the surgical anatomy space, which is very, very crucial, and that's where it's going to be useful. So yes, definitely a couple of good points that um, Fuji, coming from an X-ray film background to an AI space is a wonderful journey, and that you are the right partners for everybody to look at, rather than a standalone AI company, which doesn't really have that balance. And it's good that you have got a lot of uh, FDA approvals and C marks, so that's the right way to go forward. So, congratulations on your journey to your company. And uh, maybe a comment or two from Vidur. Uh, you have flirted with them too. <laughs> I think I'll be commenting for a much longer period of time after this. So, uh, open it up to the audience. So, I know uh, this sounds a little. Uh, yeah, sure. Let's take Please identify yourself. Myself, Dr. Mitali from India, uh, Quality Council of India. Thank you. Uh, I just have a small query. Uh, can this be uh, validated, uh, this uh, AI algorithms? Can they be interfaced between the two systems together at a single point of time, like cardiovascular or mammography or any other thing? Or else another application, like uh, another platform with the same application is to be used in between the two? Okay. Like, uh, okay. There is a confusion between Okay. Them. Okay. So, uh, see, uh, we have a middleware, which is a Synapse AI, and then there's a down below you have the products, right? So from the product point of view, packs for memo archiving, whatever you have, you plug it down below. And multiple algorithms you can plug at the top. This middleware acts as a layer. So to your question, you can plug in multiple algorithms at the same time. You don't need to do one is to one. So that's the reason this middleware is there. Otherwise, one algorithm, one desktop, you are integrating it. Then another desktop, you are integrating it. But with this middleware, that solves the purpose. You just have to take the AI engine. That you can either take cloud or on your premise. And then you can just plug in into that middleware, which is already there. Yeah. Yes, yes, yes. Uh, That middleware is, sorry? So I, I, maybe I'll keep a clinical context to your question. There's a patient who's got a cardiovascular problem and he has a chest x ray, right? That's what you're trying to say, that he might have multiple medical problems and maybe you have some AIs which are in the clinical context and some AIs in radiology and some maybe in lab medicine. And do they, at the back end, does the middleware support cross-talk and allow the clinician to say, okay, he has a pulmonary tuberculosis based on a chest AI, but this gentleman also is suffering from maybe cardiomyopathy, which could be tuberculosis related. We are a little far away from that journey right now. I hope they talk to each other. We are talking to each other. At least the lab and the radiologist are talking to each other. I hope the companies talk to each other. Yeah, so, no, so to that question, the same study, you can make it go through multiple algorithms. So the same image, what is there, it can go through the, uh, say, chest x-ray algorithm and the same can go to the, whatever you are saying, the other disease, right? So multiple algorithms can be applied on the same study. And all the algorithm will give you the findings as per their, you know, the programming or whatever the algorithm is, stands for. Yeah, so the question is, it's not getting five functions in five different boxes. Correct. It's accumulating into one diagnosis. Correct. That is way far in the box. 
<laughs> thank you thank you